Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and today we are going to discuss how to create a continuous deployment pipeline with Jenkins for Kubernetes cluster. Also, we are going to cover a fresh application deployment on Kubernetes cluster along with the rolling updates on existing application on Kubernetes cluster. So let's begin. This is my Kubernetes cluster and this is my Jenkins machine. This is the Jenkins scripted pipeline. Line number one is a scripted structure. Line number two is cloning all the files uh, from the GitHub storage. Let me show you what, what do I have on my GitHub location. This is my GitHub location. This is the common file. This is the um, a deployment file for the Kubernetes environment. I just want to highlight it that uh, I am using the image uh, 0 0.1. I am going to be deploy uh, 0 0.1 image on the cluster uh, environment. This is the rolling update uh, script file. From line number three to line number six, it is waiting a input from the user. It is a new deployment or you want to rolling update on the existing application. We will see in the pipeline execution mode. If user submitted yes, this is a new application build. Then line number 10, try to make a SSH connection on Kubernetes machine. It can be any machine where kubectl is configured properly to connect your Kubernetes cluster. For the demonstration perspective, I have directly using the Kubernetes cluster machine. To make successful a connection on your Kubernetes cluster machine, you should configure a keyless entry on Kubernetes cluster machine from the Jenkins machine. Let's try. This is my Jenkins machine. If I try to make SSH connection on Kubernetes cluster and I am able to, I am successfully able to make a SSH connection without uh, supplying username and password. Line number 11 is copying the files from Jenkins machine to Kubernetes cluster machine. Line number 12, basically executing a command on Kubernetes cluster remote machine and creating a new build based on deployment.yaml file. So let's go ahead and execute this job. Save it and build now. Click on build job. Click on console output. Input requested. Is this new build? If say yes, then click on button. And you can see here it is creating a new build and deployment and service has been created. So let's try to access a new deployment on Kubernetes cluster or I have successfully deployed a new application on Kubernetes cluster uh, with Jenkins. So now let's come a rolling update scenario. How to rolling updates on your existing application. For example, if you want to upgrade your existing image from version 0 0.1 version 0 0.2 let's go ahead and update the image tag into the github location i want to upgrade my image with 0 0.2 let's go ahead and save it now go back into jenkins and run it again This is a not a new deployment. We want to rolling update into the existing application. Go ahead and uncheck yes and click on the button option. Now you can see here rolling update has been completed on the existing application. We can verify on the browser. Now you can see here the existing application has been updated with uh, version 0 0.2 so let me explain the rolling update code 
line number 16 came in action when you say it is not a new build we are just rolling update line number 19 try to make a ssh connection on remote kubernetes cluster machine line number 20 copy all the files on the kubernetes cluster machine line number 21 assign execute permission on all cell script line number 22 execute rollout dot sf script let me show you rollout cell script content basically this is very simple command to rolling update on kubernetes cluster for example if you want to upgrade or updating a image from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 let's go ahead So now we modify the rollout.cell script with the version 0 0.3. Let's go ahead and run the job in the Jenkins environment. So now go ahead and execute job in the Jenkins. Is this new build? No. Click on button. Rolling update has been completed. Let's verify on the browser. Now you can see here. We successfully able to upgrade our image from version 0 0.2 to version 0 0.3. This is a not a perfect solution, but a this is demonstrating continuous integration and continuous delivery on Kubernetes cluster with Jenkins. For this video, that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.